here with James Laurie. James, um, a pretty tough season here, mate. The bulls look good considering. Yeah, Ben, we've we've had plenty of mates in Northern New South Wales in the last 18 months trying to get sale teams together, and uh, but we're really pleased with how they've come up. We had to feed them uh, some supplementary um, uh, pellets through the summer when it got really tough, but uh, got a bit of a break and be able to utilise some good chicory and coxfoot pasta there in March and April and and, and so the condition that they got on the now is really a reflection of that. Um, unfortunately in the last few weeks we've almost run out of feed. We've got plenty of mates in that area but we've been able to get them over the line by adding a bit of hay in, into them and so we're really happy with, uh, with with how they're going to present. And what sort of weights are we going to be talking about at sale time? Uh, the lead ball I think is just going to be over 900 kilos but the, I'd say the average is going to be high 700 so yeah, not, not enormous but plenty big enough to go out and uh, present really well. And what range of genetics have you got on offer this year? Ben, we've probably got a pretty good mix of industry size um, or bloodlines and the principal one essentially is probably the Admiral C29 group which we've had before. Uh, we love these cattle, they're real just commercial cattlemen's cattle. Some of them aren't oil paintings, but they're just big, active, well-muscled bulls, such as Lot 1 and 15. And they're bulls that we know are really go out and do a great job in the industry because they've proven that in the past. Um, the next line is the Bartell line, um, which is represented by Sons of Tamania uh, Epistle, Dunoon Evident, and Airvale Bartell E7. And they're real carcass-orientated cattle, and we, we really love them for that because the amount of muscle they've got in them. And then the third major line is the New Design 458N line. We've got some Drex sons of him, plus our first sons of our Waddle Top uh, 458N E111 son. And they're really special for their carcass and, and sound structure that they've got. James, the thing I really like about the cattle here, you know, that we've been looking at is the, the, the muscle expression and carcass in them. They're really impressive. One of our focuses, Ben, has always been to get a lot of meat in our cattle because it's particularly in the environment here on the coast. If you don't start with it, you don't end up with it. So that's been a real focus. So, you know, I think all our bulls are really strong in the muscle department, but there are also plenty of bulls there with that extra growth that we, that we probably need if you're into the longer fed markets. And another feature of the team this year is the calving ease, and so there's a number of bulls that really suit that heifer job, um, light birth and calving ease combined, and in particular is the group of 17-month uh, old bulls that really fit in that bill nicely. James, really nice line up of heifers again this year. Yes, Ben, as we've done in previous years, we've got approximately 80 uh, yearling commercial heifers and they are EU accredited, so they'll, they'll fit most places. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're, they're really just a good reflection of what we do in our commercial herd at home. Again, it's been tough enough getting them together, but I think the fact that they present as well as they do is good testimony to the constitution and the fertility that we've got in our, in our commercial herd. And so for that reason, we'd really recommend them to people. Uh, James, Young Ted made some uh, pretty strong predictions here the other day uh, about the weather. Do you reckon they're going to come true or what? Well, the, the, that full story is, Ben, is that uh, earlier in the year we broke a 60-year record uh, for going 132 days in this district without a fall greater than 20 mils of rain. And, and we're right on the verge of breaking it again. So if it hasn't rained by the sale time, it would be the second time in, uh, in uh, 60 years that we've gone more than 130 days without 20 mils. So Ted's uh, assured me that it's going to rain before the sale, so hopefully we can back him in. Um, on a more positive note, like the, the, the horizons for the beef industry in general are terrific. Um, everyone's talking it up and, 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 and not just for the future, but you know we're seeing it now. We sold three uh, decks of 17-month-old feeder steers uh, last week and they've averaged at, uh, at that age just under $1,080, which is, which is uh, very pleasing. So I think we're starting to see it. So I think... Uh, you know, with, with Ted's rain that's coming, I think we can be really positive about uh, the future of the industry in, in the next few years. And so, uh, yep, anyone that can make it here for our 23rd of August uh, Saturday sale, love to see you. And, and if uh, you don't mind a bit of a party afterwards, bring your swag because we'll be, we'll be here for a while. Thanks, mate. Cheers, Ben.